All right, the rundown. Uh, it is December. Get there. You got it. Get there. No, you have Get that. There. You have that. You no, have no, that. Cheat. No, you're right cheat. there. Land it. Land the plane. Thirteenth. November thirteenth. December. No, you had it. You, you had it. You said 16th. this. December sixteenth. Uh, it, it, the NBA season, NBA season Mountain Dew is all about the threes, a shot that's changing the game. As a beverage that challenges people to pursue their passion, Mountain Dew is aligning itself with the most badass shot in the game, pushing boundaries, taking hoops culture to the limit. Mountain Dew is all about being a badass and getting mm -hmm. out there and doing it. There are those who watch and let life happen, and those who do and make life happen. For those badasses who pursue their passions, Mountain Dew is the charge, change to change, charge to do. The rundown is brought to you by Mountain Dew, official beverage of the NBA. Uh, do the do. All right, NFL. Um, I don't know what happened in the NFL. Uh, Bears eliminated, basically. Condolences. Yeah. I mean, at the hand of the Packers. Guy's got to pitch that ball. Got to pitch oh. it God. one more time. Did he? Did he? Was there a comment? Did he like say like I didn't see He's it? A fucking or he just, Princeton grad. I mean, it's smart guy. Right there. He wasn't, and it wasn't even, even looking. Like you could, yeah. He like, just didn't look. He's like, I'm just gonna run through ten yeah. guys. And the Bears, they just like they died a million times in that game. I don't think the Packers are good. I'm going to go, the way I've described it is, what about Bob? Classic, classic comedy. Uh, I'm Richard Dreyfus. I'm just going to go, like, all season long being like, the Packers aren't good, the Packers aren't good, and then they're going to win the Super Bowl 17-13 with, like, 200 yards offense. That happened to me with the Bucks. The they won the Super Bowl. It was very costly. Right. So I already <laughs> can see it. It's going to happen, especially now the Niners lost. And the Packers can crazy somehow ending get to into the crazy ending. one seed. I, I thought the guy caught the ball in the touchdown. I did too, off his foot. Yeah. I thought it was clear that he was off his foot. And then I did, didn't think it was clear enough to say he scored. Yeah. So and the then Bears. the crazy play at the end with the total. Yep. Those uh, gambling beats were the, I mean, there some were of the some, worst ever all I mean, in one week, all in one hour. The Philly game. The Redskins, who I had, were covering for 60 minutes. 60 minutes they were covering. Yeah. That's a crazy. That's insane. Play. That should not be legal. Sixty minutes they were covering, and they lost. And then the, I didn't have the Falcons uh, Niners total, but that was. Th those are two. Those are two plays where like the gambling places should have like honored oh, the bets. You man. know what I mean? Those were such freak plays. Yeah. Uh, Bills for real. I I think the AFC playoffs, like top to bottom, are going to be the best AFC playoffs we've had in a very long time. Think about it. Maybe. Maybe if you want to say the sixth seed is the Steelers or Titans, so maybe throw that team out because they're probably flawed in some way. Although the Titans could beat anyone. The Bills, the, the Texans, Bills the Chiefs, uh, the Ravens, and the Patriots, all five of those teams, I could I could make the argument that they could make a run. Yeah, I feel I mean, like if I, the Bills weren't the Bills, like with the history and the name attached to it, I think people would be taking them a lot more seriously. I mean, the Ravens, I think most people oh, of are course. saying are head and shoulders. They're head and shoulders, it. but I'm saying all the other teams – if they end up winning or getting to the Super Bowl, I don't think it would be a shock. Yeah, I, 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 I think most people I think are it, entering if the Ravens don't make it yeah. the Super Bowl, it's a shock. Yeah. I don't feel I, that way because of the Patriots. Well, but. and I also think that we've all kind of forgotten about the Chiefs. Yeah. The Chiefs, like, Mahomes starting to play well again. Their defense is a lot better just, than it was last Chiefs year. The Chiefs going on the road to win two road games in the playoffs, I don't see happening. Yeah. The Chiefs would have a, I would say the Chiefs, if the, the Patriots Chiefs, stumble... Yeah. It becomes a lot more realistic for the Chiefs in the because next two weeks. Because if the Patriots lose they get on home, Saturday, they get yeah, the Chiefs so they'd now have to get win the two one seed. road game Correct. theoretically. I don't think the Patriots will stumble, but we'll see. How about um, Bill's Mafia meeting them at the airport? Awesome. Uh, I mean, two in the morning, they deserve everything. Zero degrees. Most fans deserve it all, man. No, uh, I, wait, is there any other games? I'm trying to think. That was really kind of it. Patriots humbled the Bengals. Bengals, uh, and that's a perfect segue into uh, Jay Glazer. Roger Goodell probably leaked him that tape. Patriot haters being, oh, my God, and then anybody with a rational brain looking at that footage is like, I mean, what what, like, what like, are you going to do with that footage? Yeah, I mean, he wasn't really filming anything, but the, there's they never were, good when you're like, hey, let's delete this and forget about it. They that, sounded that, so guilty. Uh, yeah. so the only guilty. guy who sounded worse than him was the rent-a-cop from Cincinnati being like, a little too late, buddy. Like, dude, you work for the fucking Bengals. Shut up. Yeah, I mean, that that's fine, but, like, what he was they saying. Both, the whole thing. He, they, their they reaction is like, that, that maybe that tape wasn't it, but they were there to do something. Yeah, the, to yes, they were. No, no, no. I mean to do to something do, like to, nefarious. To film, to do your job. If you react the like guy that, explained you were it very there clearly. To do something more it's than like just showing what he looks at. I, the, the, 
You don't think so? You don't, you don't think if, if you're if, there to do something nefarious, you just send somebody in plain civilian clothes into the crowd with a fucking camera and take the same thing. Yeah, I'm not saying they were smart about it, but I'm just saying that but if I was like, just there filming, if we sent someone and they were filming a documentary, you wouldn't be like, we will delete everything right away. Don't well, worry. I'm sorry. Just, don't, don't say anything about it. Don't it's say anything. Don't tell anybody. Free, don't tell anybody. Oh, you're. It's a freelance, like our guys here freelance, if they got in trouble and they thought they had to answer to like Kraft or Belichick would panic. It is so stupid. Well, the footage is nothing. It's just the Bengals sidelines. I remember I wanted to talk about the NFL too. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, the, the video came out and then it became another story, but I've since the beginning been like, this is kind of stupid. I don't have the energy. I can't fight this fight anymore. I don't know if we've all been but, together. But rationally speaking, only it. the only people who would fight this fight are people who just hate the Patriots. Because there's nothing to I can't. This. I can't fight this fight. No, I, I'm not going to fight it, but I just do think that their reaction... I, it I was a this suspicious was like reaction. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, and then the reaction made me go like, wait a minute. This is why the Patriots find themselves in these spots, because they react. Like, there's it, always a weird this reaction. This guy doesn't even work for the Patriots. It's Cincinnati rent-a-cop trying to act like he's fucking Paul Blart going against some fucking... What? No, you want like uh, Paul Blart? Paul no, Paul no, Blart. but the, he was trying to act like he was like uh, like Rambo Columbo. Oh yeah. 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 Well, both. But he's yeah. he is Paul Blart. He was acting like he's fucking yeah, yeah. Clint yeah. Eastwood or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like catch him again. Clint Eastwood. Sherlock Holmes. We got Sherlock all. We ran Holmes. the gamut. Listen, yeah. They got credentials. They're in Patriots gear. The guy literally is like, I put my tripod and left it alone next to to go to the bathroom. And when I came back, it's so. The Patriots, nobody is that stupid. Nobody. Yeah. All right. I wanted to say uh, the Browns. Oh, they're a debacle. Did you see the report that Jarvis Landry is now, in addition to Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry also out? was going to the other sideline saying, come get me. Yeah. Oh, it's that... funny that <laughs> the fact that they're doing it so... They're like hostages. They're yeah, like, please, yeah. come yeah. trade for me. It's like... one thing to say to the media, to go up to the other teams and be like, come get me. Please. Yeah, I'm waiting for one of them to put it like in their eye black, like, help. <laughs> Please call the cops. Blinking it out at the I press conference. I don't want to be here. The only <laughs> people who deserve that are the Browns fans who got excited for this misfit team. I mean, uh, Jeff D. Lowe over there now with the, this team stinks. But the, the he own, no, he owns it, though. I mean, no, he, I know. Yeah. He does now. But they like yeah. thought they were going to Super Bowl yeah. before the season yeah. started. The, 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 the Super Bowl expectations wins. were a little bit crazy. I think they had... As Bill, as Browns fans who had nothing, they, do I think have they had every right to yeah, at least get a little excited. Mis but misfit but talent. It's almost like me a couple weeks ago with the Bengals, where it's like, what? You didn't think this could go wrong? Yeah, of course, true. you're the Browns. Um, points bet gambling segment. Today's gambling segment is brought to you by Points Bet Sportsbook. If you're in Jersey or Iowa, you'll get $100 in bonus bets just for signing up with code Barstool and depositing $10. If you're in Iowa, head to Point IA.pointsbet.com to get started. Visit the Points Bet Sportsbook at Catfish Bend Casino. To complete your registration in person, terms and conditions apply. Must be in Jersey or Iowa to bet. Must be 21 or older. You have a gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Um, Camille Najani, the I know him from the Big Sick. What else has he been in? Uh, Silicon Valley. Yeah, Silicon Valley. Uh, uh, he's got a good podcast. He's yeah. Big Sick was a great movie. Yeah. What? That was a great movie. Underrated. Big Sick. Yeah, very good. Uh, do you see this picture where he's just fucking ripped? I thought it's Photoshop. He's not, not fair. He's just ripped. Way, he's like action hero. Ripped. Weirdly, ripped. he still doesn't look good. Oh, I don't know about that. He's he like ripped, but good. it wasn't like, oh, he's like a hot ripped guy. I don't know. He looked pretty, Comedians pretty can't good. Really he get he ripped. looks like fucking Wolverine. It was crazy. The veins I, and shit. Like, I, it is just a, this is just being rich and being able to be like, I'm not going to yeah. eat and have a trainer yeah. watch over that's me. Why for, I'm, that's why I'm mad. That's annoying. It's like, did you see the before pictures of him? Yeah. I mean, he looked fine. He looked like a comedian who like had like kind of. I don't think it's good for a comedian brand to be that ripped. Yeah, but it's good to be what did he get do that Marvel money, what bro. What role is it? The Eternals. It's a new Marvel uh, no, I didn't comic know that coming part out. Of it. That yeah, no, he's oh, not you thought he just did it for it. fun? Yeah. He's doing no. it for a movie. Oh, 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 all right. That's a little. So uh, when you're getting Marvel money, it's worth it. Speaking of rip, Bernie BP. Uh, <sighs> Segway stick. City. Segway Big City. Big stick, Fair Bernie. part of the video is when he gets mad about a ball in dirt. He's like, yeah. come on. Come on, let's go. He How? loves doing this. Maybe the only reason he runs for president. <laughs> Just to do the, the <laughs> random sports like events? Like shooting hoops. Oh, yeah. like... He took a pitch, too. The first one he let yeah. go to like, get his, well, his timing down. Did he take the rocket deep? <laughs> What's that? Pro probably at this rate. Uh, and then well, you'd have well. to have voice I, 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 a question. It was a question. He probably could. <laughs> Imagine Bernie taking Jared deep. What, a, what an all-time visual that would be. You know, you'd be cocky, too. <laughs> See ya! And then, you, then you, right, you'd have to, like, go to the pen, and in comes White Sox Dave, and he'd gas him. Yeah. He'd and he'd get him in back. Bernie's face. Yeah. yeah. 
shatters every bone in Bernie's I, eye. I, actually, I really don't know how White Sox Dave spun that whole narrative to the point. I mean, there was a point in time where if he threw 70-something, the jokes would have been on him. What do you mean? He used to hype himself up at 90. And well, all that, of a sudden we just well, accepted crow hop. Well, all of a sudden we just accepted mid 70s. Ago. That died a long time Whoa, ago. Whoa, he was high 70s. High 70s. 77, 78. Um, 80, 86. <laughs> That's what I mean. He used to think 86, so then when we gave him 75, it was a big deal. Foreplay versus golf media. So the foreplay guys have been in Australia for seemingly a year. Uh, and I guess. But I mean, look at the fucking content they're getting out of it. Even well, you can't be mad at this. I mean, they went over there, they're hanging out with Tiger, and they're making waves in the golf world. Mission accomplished. Yeah. And, and it's all sponsored. Well, the sponsor part's the key. Like, I, I, the, the President's Cup, nobody cares about it. Yeah, I was digging into the President's Cup. I, I'm pretty much, the way I'm understanding is we created a, an Ryder event Cup, right? just to kick the shit out of the world. We, we've only lost it Europe. once. Bootleg Ryder Cup. Yeah, we've only yeah. lost uh, it once. A, extreme bootleg. We just Ryder created Cup. something yeah. to win. Yeah, it, I like that. It's it's an event that I don't know I would have even known was going on if they weren't there, which is why they're probably there. But before they left, Frankie's like, no, it's a it's a major deal. It's not a major deal. It's just not. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean it's going I, on during football season. Yeah. So. Uh, as far deal. as who is in the right here, there's been a couple things which I'm very curious to get to the bottom of. I don't think we have, and that's Patrick Reed's caddy who got kicked out and gave a quote to Riggs. Some golf guy then use the same quote, and it's a he said, she said, on whether that guy stole four plays quote, or it was sent to multiple outlets. I don't think we know what that answer is yet. Yeah, that's a key. Because I, I think I these two, these two events are related, the by the way. First, but then, like, that, that caddy probably had, like, a statement, like a quote that he well, gave then, to everybody. But then you can't get mad if you're rigged, right? You can't say you stole right, it. But if you sent it to everyone. And these two well, events I, are I related. I think it depends on if it was, like, blasted out there or if... Like, well, it, the quotes are verbatim, including like the capitalization of a, the A where it shouldn't have been, and it was so on. So that means that he sent an and, email. And, and, and so wait, or when he Riggs just got copied, it, Riggs oh. got it in person, or Riggs got it over I, email? Like, I don't know. Yeah. We don't know. We got to get to the bottom of that because that, the second event, which is just a tale as old as time, bloggers and journalists fighting each other, which yeah. has right. been a war for twenty years, uh, that. I think is related to the one, first one. This one's particularly silly. Like when that guy quote tweeted Frankie. Yeah, for being like journalism. For Tiger. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. but I mean, n nobody on the planet Earth considers Frankie Borelli a journalist. Well, so not only that, but that's not the right argument. Golf man. of all sports, it's like well, it makes you the most need sense that you. Yeah, I know it makes the most sense, but at the same but time, it's like, like you need guys like foreplay guys to grow the brand, like to well, make they're, golf they're, fun they're, for other people. I think Riggs was the one who said this. They want. All the growth to the game, but exactly how they want it, with who right. they want it, right. and all that shit. Right. And you can't have it both ways. I couldn't really tell though. That, did you see when they they used the tweet from like foreplay, and they're at a bar, and they're like the bar goes wild, but they the bar didn't really go wild. <laughs> it was like one person, maybe Frankie, was like yeah, and it was like capitalization. Bar goes wild. <laughs> It, and it was a very, play said that? It, yes. Yeah. It was a very loose interpretation of the word wild. Also, I liked Riggs' uh, tweet about how fun, they want to make golf fun, fun is fun. Except for the fact that I'm pretty sure Riggs would be mad if like people were playing music on the course and wearing like tank tops and, because he said that. But I don't, I don't think Riggs would be, would jive with that. Riggs no, takes himself very like seriously. he's not playing with... Uh, like Ronnie Dangerfield. Right, that show. Right. Like he'd be, I he, like the sentiment. He, he the wants sentiment it to is correct. He, he's he's playing, right. The he sentiment is correct, and he's right on what he's saying. And, I just wonder if yeah. if he'd I showed up and was like, like Judge Smales. Yeah, if, if I they, showed up and was still <laughs> doing fucking donuts in the fairway, yeah. would he be like, fun is fun? No, no, yeah. he would be the first How one of the chip that going on, dog? Yeah. Either way, I think they've won this one. A hundred percent. Yeah. But so, I mean, you still think this was like too much of a boondoggle on a trip? They, no, the sponsor, I mean, they it's went, sponsored, you go. Like, it, I, I didn't really. I Tigers just dapping gone it up. And... Forever. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. But that, That's it. But no, I didn't. As a sponsor, a sponsor. You get things sponsored. Uh, I'll go to the moon. It. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty straightforward. Now, well, I'll get the uh, dollars and cents on that and find out what sponsored <laughs> actually means. Um, and we're working <laughs> on that right I now. I imagine Dave takes out his like old Chinese calculator and like does it's the like, fucking thing. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> okay, well, and... 
<laughs> it's uh, on a pair of glasses. It, like uh, a blind he's got the, the visor and the, yeah. the calculator with the with the paper. With the paper receipt just going like, all right. <laughs> with a pencil. <laughs> uh, this clip was funny. Bearcats uh, mascot. I don't know what this was, but playing versus little kids. He Dominance. dropped like three kids and then stretched the goal line for a touchdown. I, the thing about mascots is I feel like you put that uniform on here like, in international water. Yeah. Like you can just do whatever you want. Correct. Nobody knows Correct. what it is. Right. Correct. Yes. It was, I mean, I love clips like this. Anything a mascot does, it's just infinitely more funny when a mascot does something. Yeah, I mean, he absolutely trucked that yes. kid. Killed. Kid had no regard. Um, all right, so that's the rundown. This is the last week of rundowns before we head off to break. That's the show? It. What? Anything for the after show? No. Nothing? No. Nothing to no. talk about no. in the after show. Nothing. Huh? You? There's no after show. Nah. I, can't, I can't think of anything. We usually have an after show. And this today we're just not going to do uh, an after show. Army Navy was fun. Yeah, it was always fun. a good show. I've said it a million times. Army Navy is pretty much my favorite sporting event in the world outside of when the Patriots win a Super Bowl. Which is a lot, by the way. It's a lot. It is a lot. Oh. It was fun. Is there anything else from the weekend? Good time. <laughs> um, uh, uh, All right. Did well, you see any good videos recently? I you saw one. Spygate, we're going to go down that leak again. I saw one, but it was illegal to see it. It's, it's illegal that I watched it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, it's against the law to watch a video like that. Yeah, you, you think Jeff Bagwell's a Hall of Famer? I did. Kevin, when we were at Army Navy, there were some people Dave, in the crowd. Dave, you think Jeff Bagwell's a Hall of Famer? There were, peop uh, yeah. there were yeah. people in the crowd. Hall of Fame performer? Yeah. Well, the PEDs. Uh, was he a PP guy? Had to be. Yeah, probably a big Adderall guy. Um, there was a kid in the crowd who just had, was holding up a phone with a video playing on repeat. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, do, you so, have, do you remember that, that sumo video you guys made? Yeah. That's how you do it. Good. Yeah, Dave's shout out to like Millmore, that, that Quiggs, Dana for finding some hilarious clips. Up. You're a naughty boy, I can tell. Well, you like yeah. the fuck doggy, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, is yeah. that your favorite? Yeah. It was a very was funny a good day. Trip down memory lane on for, Friday. You know, like no reason to put those videos out there, but it, it was just nice to remind people very of those good moments time. in Barstool history. Tommy, did you write that statement? Was that you? Which statement? The Team Portnoy official the video? statement. I, I may have. I may have dabbled and I may have dipped the pen, yeah. How many times did you watch the video? I don't know what video you're talking about. How many times you, you come to the video? Yeah, you watched the video a lot. You down, definitely so. watched it. Two completion? I don't know what video you're talking about. How many times do you think 15 year old Steve watched the video? <laughs> <laughs> if you loop it enough times, it becomes, you know, several minutes. It does, just, uh, it does just restart. I was the only thing that was really, I, was, I thought my phone was broken because I was trying to get sound. I was like, what the fuck? Where's the sound? <laughs> Did you not do the same? We were I, not, I'll like, be honest, I didn't, but yeah. I don't fault you for doing I it. I was like, what, what is my phone fucking? I, I just got a new iPhone.